Good morning, guys. Hey, it's Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, here it is, Saturday morning, another January day in Telephone, Texas. Uh, it's about 7.45 in the morning, and it is cold. It's somewhere around 28 degrees this morning. You can see we got a pretty good frost on the ground. And uh, the project today, we're back at the new 40 acres that we bought. Look at there. The other half of the trailer is still sitting there. We're going on like four months now. It's been so wet. Just such a mess. They've got half of the trailer out and they're still waiting to get the second half. Maybe uh, in the next couple of weeks. Who knows? Anyway, the goal today is, you know, this is where the storage building used to be. This is where the barn was. You can see we got most of the demo work done. There's piles of dirt around. It's just uneven. We removed a couple of cross fences. So the goal today is we're going to do a little bit of box blading. Probably not ideal conditions. Uh, it's a little bit on the wet side, but I'm hoping when I start to actually run around with this box blade that it'll uh, dry up enough that I can do something. But you can see the damage we did in the past is just so wet and muddy. Just getting hay in and out. I'm going to try to smooth some of this out today if I can. And this is what we're going to be using. The New Holland 5060. And uh, this is a uh, box blade I got from Everything Implements. Let's see the, uh, the sticker on there. And it's pretty heavy duty. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to come through here. I've got the teeth set a couple of inches below the box blade. So what we're hoping is that when we get down here and we start to actually go, it's going to rip up two or three inches of soil, and then the box blade will start to level it out. So uh, that's kind of the plan. So I'm going to set the uh, camera up on the inside, let you guys get a little view, and uh, let's see if we can do some work today, make things look better. Hey guys, all right, well, here's an update. It's uh, currently about 10 o'clock, so I've spent about two hours bouncing around, dragging the box blade over the old storage building and barn site. And uh, hey, you can see we're starting to get things going our way. You know, there's still pieces of trash that we're picking up as we go, but uh, hey, we are working our way towards getting this place cleaned up so pretty pumped about that you can see just always trash and junk but uh hey look out here man i've got a lot more to do i've had the fingers down on the uh, box blade and i've just now decided to raise them up so i've done my pretty much my initial pass so i think i need probably about another hour hour and a half going over this with just uh I'll put the fingers up on the box blade where I'm not doing as much cutting of the soil. And now I'll just start leveling out and filling in some of the low spots as we, uh, as we move along. There it is. I'm looking for the mystery brick. I found about 30 of those guys as I've been box blading. I guess the previous owner just took it and uh, decided to dump them out. So anyway, hey, we're plugging away. Just working, working, working we will eventually get there. 
the uh, New Holland is doing great. No problems. Just a pleasure to drive. Uh, so right here, people that haven't really paid any attention to the box blades, you can see I've got my fingers up in, right now. I've got the outside ones totally up because it seems to want to trap roots and debris there. And you can see just all the good stuff we have here. But uh, what it does is it drags that dirt around and it fills in the low spots and it just drops out the bottom. And uh, the blade kind of keeps it semi-level. You can see I'm building me a uh, pile of bricks. Look right here. Look at that, another brick. They're everywhere. Anyway, hey, here comes the uh, CEO and president of Heritage Farms, my lovely wife. She's uh, showing up. Don't tell her she's late for work. It's 10, 15, of course, you know, imagine that. So uh, this ought to be interesting. So anyway, I'll keep you informed, but we are moving along. Hey, talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Well, it's about noon, so we've been on the job about uh, four and a half hours now. And let's see, see what we got here. We got a little progress. Look at that, man. The fire's gone. Hey, it's a great day. We got the CEO and my beautiful, lovely wife out here with us today, supervising to make sure I didn't burn down the uh, county. So, uh, but man, what a difference a few hours make. What a great day. Uh, we hit it with the box blade multiple times, started out with the teeth down on the box blade. Then after that, we shifted started raising the teeth up. We'd make several passes, try to fill in low spots. And then finally we got to a point where we raised the teeth up where they weren't touching the ground, drug it several times, and then we finished off. We used this haro or haro, not sure how you uh, pronounce it, but anyway, it actually did a pretty good job. So uh, very pleased with the 5060 uh, New Holland. The uh, Everything Implements uh, box blade did what it was supposed to. This was a, a Haro or Haro that I inherited with the property, but you know what? It actually did a good job, kind of filled dressing this. And right now we're just walking around and we're picking up stones and rocks and pieces of trash, but man, what a difference this makes from the day we first bought it. Uh, we are getting closer and closer and closer. All we need now is uh, we just need to burn these piles and then ultimately, the one thing that has to happen is these guys have to come get the other half of that trailer. So uh, anyway, that's my own personal battle at the moment. So that is where we are at. Just wanted to kind of show you the finished update and what things look like. So uh, this has been Box Blading Day at Heritage Farms. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Hey guys, hey, it's Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Hey, it's uh, currently 3.30, Saturday afternoon. Thought I would give you a final update. So we've been at it since 7.45 this morning. And when we got here, you know, this place didn't look all that good, but man, we have been going after it. So we've been box blading all the way up till noon. We had two huge trash piles, which you've seen before. And, uh, both of those are being burnt as we speak. I'm hoping that they will continue to burn away, but uh, man, what, what a difference a day makes. So uh, we have been just going at it and going at it. So we did a lot of box blading, several passes, teeth down, slowly raising the teeth up. And then finally, uh, one of the final things we did was we drug a, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a harrow, harrow, whatever, but uh, we actually drug that over it and kind of did a little top dressing. Boy, the ground is nice, broken up, soft. Would love to get a rain on it. Maybe after we get a rain, I might hit it again. Uh, but man, we are slowly getting there. Do you remember the photos? Oh, look at there. There's the CEO of Heritage Farms, Texas. Hold on one second. Here's the company mascot, Coco. She's exploring, looking for trouble. He's in heaven today. Anyway, so this is what we're dealing with. So I thought we'd give you an update. 
this right here you know this is the eyesore the other half of the trailer the front porch the back porch all of that has to go then back there there's the hog barn and then uh, once we get rid of that this place is going to start looking a lot better a lot better anyway let me know if you guys have any ideas on what to do with this stuff i mean there's so many nails and things we bought a roofer's magnet we've been picking them up i'm just going to keep pushing this in closer and closer i imagine probably have to have two or three additional little fires to get rid of it pull the metal out and take it to the scrap yard but uh hey if you remember if you look back to our video burn baby burn that's where the original storage building was and then uh, we also have a video on the barn demo that's where the barn used to be so hey man we just about got this thing knocked out so uh Hey, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to click on the icon next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified anytime we post a new video. Check us out on heritagefarmstexas.com, Instagram, anywhere you want. Leave a comment. If you have any suggestions, love to hear from you guys. Hey, hope everything's going well. Thanks.